Hey guys. Hi. This is Morgan from the Beauty Breakdown. This is Hover from Hover's Jelly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Shreepies. Do you want to say hello to your audience? Actually, it looks like it's in quite enjoying it. Am I putting your finger on the <laughs> 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 All right, so what are we doing here? So this video we're gonna be talking about some of our favorite high-end makeup and skincare products. So we're gonna be showing some of our favorites, talking about some of our favorites, and just kind of discussing them overall in general. That's right. Great. Okay. So let's get started. Let's start with skincare, yeah. Okay, good. So I have little bottles of these. I actually have full sizes. I just bought a full set of Hera skincare. But Hera skincare is amazing, right? Agreed. It's so good, but mm. this line in particular is so good because Hera's kind of like a mature, older, yeah, mature, older woman type of brand because it's a little bit pricier. Mm -hmm. Their products are tailored towards like anti wrinkle, those type of functions. Mm. They sell at department stores. Yes, they sell them at the department stores, but this would do well with pretty much all skin types. I'm a big moisturizing person. I'm a big. Are you? I feel like even oily people should be moisturizing their skin, True. right? Mm. So this is a really good line. This is their Aquabolic Moisturizing Water and their Emulsion, just like little samples of it. And then there's this guy, which is a little sample. My you. holy grail. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this a little bit? This is a treatment essence, which means it's a watery essence, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it tones your skin, it moisturizes, and it lightly exfoliates as mm -hmm. well. And it's supposed to help regenerate your skin cells right and right all the good things yeah like and really. the best thing about this is that it's not fermented mm. so people who break out from fermented things like the one we are going to show in another video yeah. <laughs> this is a safer option right we were kind of talking about this earlier we use these treatment essences slightly different so right. I'll explain kind of like how I use it so I always tone my skin before using these so I'll use a separate toner that's designed to like clean makeup and oil and sebum left in my skin and really purify my pores. So like astringents? Kind of like astringents, mm -hmm. but I don't, I try to stay away from anything super drying like alcohol right. or even like, um, I try to stick towards more natural like witch hazel, rose water, the Mimone rose right. water is really excellent for that. Um, and then I go back with these type of like mm -hmm. treatment essences, I'll pour a little bit in my hand and then I'll pat it into my skin so I'm like really getting every single benefit from it. Mm. Yeah. Now, I use it as a toner most of the time. When I do have a toner, then mm. I use it before the toner. Mm. And I use a cotton pad mm. with this. So I wipe the skin so that it exfoliates. Yes. But sometimes my skin is quite sensitive. So oh. when my skin is really irritated, mm. either I mist over my face or I just pat it into your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because cotton pads can be too abrasive. Uh -huh. Cotton pads can be pretty abrasive. If mm -hmm. you don't, I actually, Sometimes I don't tone every day because it's just my dry skin just can't mm. take the toning every day and right. like the wiping of the skin every single day. Mm. So sometimes I will depending on if my skin is working well with it. Sometimes I'll tone like every other day. Right, and that's what we should all be doing. I know. Yeah, I try. You know, we. I think we both try and like listen mm. to what our skin is like. I. Right. People always they probably ask you this like skincare routine, skincare routine. But I'm like it changes so often because I have to change it with how my skin's reacting. Mm that it's hard to like narrow down like this is exactly what I do every night. It's so true. Yeah. So another thing, this is kind of like more expensive, not necessarily high end. I'm not necessarily talking about this brand, but these are hydrogel skin masks. Now they're a little different from their cotton counterparts because these are so much better at retaining moisture. They usually put better ingredients in these as well. That's true. Yeah, because mm. they're usually pricier. They're usually like five to eight thousand won, five to eight dollars versus like a dollar to two dollars, which cotton sheet masks usually are. They stick on your face better. They don't slide. Oh yeah, my gosh. they don't Thank slide God. off. So you can kind of get away with doing stuff with right. them on. And then they also just feel more moisturizing and feel like they're benefiting your skin mm. more, right? Right. Yeah. And they, they've been really, Korea's really been upping their game with these hydrogel masks. How Second much is skin. this specific this was one? 4,500 won. Mm. And in a three masks are like a thousand won. Right. So this is like four to five times more expensive. Mm. But um, a friend actually recommended this to, this specific Innisfree one to me. She said they're so good and 
like I said, their Korea's getting a lot better at having them fit and stay better. Right. Because I think they're getting so much more popular. Even the cotton sheets are getting thinner. Mm. That's all I brought really for skincare. Oh, all right then. Should I start with makeup? Sure. Okay then, I think I should start with Espa. Mm. So I brought two foundations from Espa. Espa is... High end. Yeah, yeah. I, I consider Espa high end. Mm, it is high end. Mm -hmm. The biggest reason I like Espa foundations is that they carry really nice colors. Do they really? Mm. Like a wide range? Or they match the skin tones better? For the latest one, they have eight shades. Mm. So they have the, the pale, yellow, and pink. Okay. And this is like medium light yellow. Do you mind if I try it on sure. my hand? And they have a couple dark shades couple as dark well. Shades. This is actually like quite light on my skin. This is, yeah, this looks mm. really light. It's still light on my skin, but most of the foundations oxidize on my face. So once it's oxidized, does it oxidize well? Mm. I put way I think too much. It's, yeah. Oh, it smells good too. Mm. It sticks to the face Look better than I expected. <laughs> oh my god! I was like <laughs> on my hand. That's the thing. You cannot control the pump. You know how when foundations are either really pink or really yellow, right? This isn't it, right? This one is the yellower version, so it's called the Ivory Pure, okay. but they have Ivory Warm, which is ironically pink. I usually imagine yeah, yellow right. colors are As warm, warm mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Ivory Warm is supposed to make the face brighter if you have really warm toned skin, sure. so it's supposed to actually go on a yellow skin. I try to match my foundation with my neck, I, yeah. which is super yellow, yeah. so I always go for Ivory Pure. Are you wearing it right now? Yes. It looks really good on your skin. Mm, it does. It oxidized. looks like it matches your skin mm, perfectly. Yeah. Like it actually looks like your skin. It's really weird. Amazing. Like you can't see any foundation like sitting on your skin. Right. Yeah. That's what I use. Oh cool. Well yeah. good to know. And it's really great for me in the winter because it's quite moisturizing. Uh, yeah, I could tell on my mm. hand. Yeah. But in summer I really enjoyed this one which is the fluid nude fit liquid foundation. Uh. This really stuck on my face. Mm. Neither of them have really good coverage. Mm -hmm. They're like sheer to medium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get, they have they're like watery. Mm. They're like a watery foundation. This one is slightly more watery, but it mm. sets nicely. Mm. And yeah. So those are my two Korean high end, high -end. sort of favorite foundations. Cool. This is something I actually picked up on this Korea trip, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And these are the Laneige Two Tone Lip Bars. Have you tried these? Oh my gosh. Have you tried these? I tested it and I didn't quite like it. Really? It was so hard to put it on because I have really strange lips. I can't fill my entire lips because it just looks weird. Uh huh. So I always have to blur out mm. the outfit. <laughs> I'm getting distracted because there's a cat right here behind the camera. Oh my He's gosh. the director cat. Mm. Hi, kitty. Okay, lipsticks. Sorry, guys. Distracted. These are really nice because they're moisturizing because mm. they're balmy and I really like balmy lip products because I have such dry lips and I can't get the gradient lip for the life of me. I can't do it with tints because mm. it always just like blotches or wherever I lay it down first it always just sticks and then I get it mm. you know people are like oh use your finger to blend or a, a makeup brush then I stain the brush and I stain my fingers so it's just true. it's just too so much true. of a pain in the butt. It does a really good job of like fitting your lip and it just makes it so much easier. Like it's so stark, the difference. Wow. Yeah, you guys can see that. It's actually a white against reddish pink. This is the this is the um, but it looks so natural on the lips though. Yeah, it's really cool because it's this was the most stark difference. Mm. Like the most obvious difference. So I was like, okay, well I'll go for it. But somehow the top yeah. is still the darkest and when it gets to the middle it somehow blends itself together. And then I just kinda like uh. squish my lips together a little bit. It like works like a dream. These are really good. I saw one that had like bright orange mm. and then pink. I was like, no, that's not gonna yeah. work. So. Yeah. But this is actually really pretty. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think I cared for any of the other shades. Mm. I mean, of I course I tested them and even test them on my lips. Uh -huh. But I know myself and I think this is the only one I would have really liked. This is in shade number four Milk Blur. And I think this is one of the more popular shades as well. Mm. Yeah. Well, then I'll talk about my high end. Shadows. These are also from Espa. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous shade. It's called Her Holiday. Oh, it's pretty. It looks it's, really pretty in the it's pan. Gold. Uh huh. It's like glittery but also metallic kind uh, of shimmer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the eyes, it's just so gorgeous. I don't have it on my eyes right now, but 
it's great for every day, mm. but you can also like glam it up. Yes. Yeah. Like pack it on. Mm. Yeah. And from the same line, I have Stay Bear. It's like a rose brown mm. matte. Shadow. I love these colors, mm. by the way. It's subtle, but mm -hmm. it's also great for you know just contouring eye makeup. Yeah. And just on in the crease area, it just works anywhere. And so. I feel like these type of like w like warm browns go well with yellow base skin mm. and pink base skin. Right. So they work oh. well with like all skin tones as well. Right. Yeah. These two are great. Just wish they weren't so expensive. They're like ten dollars, which. Is actually very expensive for mm, Korean brands. For Korean road shop, yeah. it's quite expensive. Actually, I find it challenging unless you're going to like the department stores mm. to find expensive eyeshadows. Like That's right. they're usually around like five to eight dollars, which for mm. me is really cheap. So I have some. Mm -hmm. They're not really high end, but the brand is a little bit more expensive. They're from VDL. Now I actually checked VDL out for the first time, mm -hmm. and we were talking about this earlier. VDL kind of reminds me of Espoir, like the packaging and the concepts and everything like that, because it's very like makeup artistry type of thing, you know? Right. So, but one thing that I really like about VDL eyeshadows is they don't stick to traditional shades. Like they do a really good job of mixing like different shades of glitter. They have a huge cool variety. Of yeah. Colors. So I bought a bunch, but I just brought a couple. This is in Champagne Shower. And this is. is their Sparkle line. I don't know if you guys will be able to see how amazing this is. Like, just straight up glitter. So I was like super excited for this. And then there's, I just brought a couple. This is in their Jelly formula, which is... Jelly? I, yeah, I think it's a little different. I don't know why they call it Jelly, honestly, because in my opinion, it's not like super jelly. Well, it's it's like a really cushiony, cool khaki, kind of. khaki color. Yeah, but it's still pretty powdery. I love the metallic finish. Yeah. Dip, baby, dip. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I like dip baby dip. And then last but not least, this one's cool because this is also kind of colors you don't really see a ton in Korea, like these deep, really vampy mm. type of colors. And this is a jelly formula too, and it's in Harley Shake. Harley Shake? And Harlem these Shake. These are so nicely pigmented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like I'm barely touching it. You can mm. see it's like still on my fingers yeah. too. So these are really awesome, but these aren't even that expensive. They're Anywhere from like six to eight dollars. It depends on like the right. finish of it, of course. Mm. They're like Mac quality eyeshadows, and Mac even in the United States is like sixteen bucks or something ridiculous for eyeshadows. I haven't bought a Mac eyeshadow in so long. I haven't even visited their yeah. shops in ages. I like refuse to. It's like way too expensive. Right. So if you do Korean makeup, mm. you have to always do mm. the inner corners mm -hmm. with yep. glitters. Mm -hmm. It's actually dried out because I bought it couple of years ago and then you hold not you, this is I do the same thing you you don't use it because it's so like you spend so much money on it and then it ends up I drying know. out or going bad does that not apply in your eyes still it's just it does it's I just need to put a, know, put something underneath yeah, it right to keep it stay but it's it's like, really it's really, really sparkly glittery but it's not chunky yeah yeah you can so tell it's perfect yeah especially in winter it's amazing. Gorgeous. I'm like getting excited like looking at that swatch mm. on your hand. Like I'm all smiley just like yeah. looking at it. I'm like, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I really like it. It's your what's your dupe? You, oh no, oh, we're gonna show that yeah. in the next one. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'll just tell you the shade. It's um, Chanel's Illusion Dombra mm. in 81 Phantasma. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. Mm, it's gorgeous. I think I got like pretty much <laughs> all that yeah. I brought for high end. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think we talked a lot. We kind we of did. Yeah, we talked about just a couple products, but just some products that we really, really like as far as high end goes. Right. So high end, quote unquote. All right, guys. So we are going to be talking about the lower end. Some of them are dupes, yes. right? And some of them are our favorites. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So if you're curious, please click on Morgan's face. Yes. <laughs> So you can check, yeah. check her out and don't forget to subscribe on her amazing channel yes. and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye guys!